Good day, my name is Benjamin Liebenberg, and let's have a look at what happens in your Microsoft Teams room. So the moment you walk into the room as a user, there'll be a touch panel on the screen. You'll see your scheduled meeting as per the previous video. Um, you won't have to use a mouse and a keyboard. Um, you just walk up and you click join. Non-Teams meetings will not have a join button. You'll have the opportunity to start a new meeting, present, click more to access settings. So if you just walk in and click on the join button, the room will dial you in. On your monitor or projector, you'll have um, the video from the far side, you can have your video there, and anything else um, that's being presented in your meeting. From the touch panel, you could add more participants, you could hide or show your camera, you could mute or unmute, if there's a laptop, uh, um, a laptop connected, you could share content via HDMI, USB-C. You've got the opportunity to change the way you view. So you can put it in together mode and large gallery. You can turn on live captions. Um, you can open up a keypad. You'll have room controls depending on what camera you use, um, what extra peripherals you use. Uh, it depend, that will depend on what you'll have here. Every provider is different. Um, you can uh, allow attendants not to unmute themselves. You could raise your hand, you could lower the volume or make it higher or completely switch off the audio. You could end the call. Going back to add participants, um, so here you can add people in your Active Directory. You could see their status. Um, I'm not online right now uh, for the purpose of making this video. Uh, but you could add uh, whoever you wanted in the company. Thank you for watching. Please follow me for more tips, tricks and how to use the system.